What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Auto Heroes, and today we're back on probably your still favorite account out of everybody's we've seen, this is the EOS account, and today we got something pretty interesting in store. First things first, we are going to make this hero as fast as possible, uh, crit crit damage, damage reduction, probably the way we want to run her, uh, again, I really can't wait to get like this further up, that's going to be so crazy, getting her more damage, melodic strings is what we're going to run, 2332, not exactly the best stat, uh, but it's not horrible. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we've gotten a little bit of resources, of course, now put into the EOS over here. We're still missing one tenant in general, which does hurt us for what we're about to do, because I want to jump into Aspen Dungeon. And if we at least had one of these heroes, that would be cool. I mean, if we had like an Annabelle, that would be absolutely amazing. However, it doesn't look like we have like any copies on this account to even try to do that and probably chess yeah we don't really have enough chests here either oh man i totally forgot we got these old this old legendary skin thing i totally forgot about that you get like an even eo skin here which is really cool we got a lot of skin in general on this account just kind of sitting here waiting for some more progress we've even got some cloud island resource chests don't know if i want to open any of them just yet uh we have single core chests. that's awesome <laughs> And then, uh, but yeah, I, I digress. So previously we've like pushed a little sea land, which we might return to eventually. But today I want to focus on Aspen Dungeon and really she's just the only hero we can send in there. So right now we're running 5.6. That's pretty good. Granted, we have a lot of extra stats here. We're already at the crit cap. Granted, when we get to purgatory, you kind of lose all those extra potions you previously had giving you the crit chance. So running her at 100% crit, I think, is a very, very good thing. I think this is exactly how I want to run the hero. I don't think we are getting... No, we don't... we're not getting the resources just yet for, like, gear and stuff, right? So the new stones here. Those are the new resources. Um, we've actually made quite a bit of progress in here, too. We're through a lot of Chapter 2, which we'll come to back to eventually start claiming some sublimation essence if we want to but the dazzle really screws us over need to run control immunity and even then you need to get lucky so let's see how far this goes i have no clue where we are in this if we're starting at like level one there's a good chance we can get far however we are going to need a lot of energy on this hero which means we need a lot of demon potions and we only snagged five of them we got a couple regular potions here we're at 51 okay uh what do we get oh we got wasted 12% crit chance. That feels so, so bad. Oh, well, we do have energy. It is buggy because, because with the, oh, there we go. Just fixed it right away. Um, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how far he's actually made it. 60. 60 is not bad. So let's see how this goes. I'm hoping we're fast enough at like 2332. I'm kind of scared. Okay, we're faster than this wave. Oh no, wait, what happened? Why did we only do one point of damage there? I am so confused. Did you see what happened? We actually did one, was it because, because of like the dazzle effect? <sighs> as long as we're faster than the enemy, we will be safe. And I don't think we can afford to use demon potions on waves like this. I think we have to save them for like really tricky waves. We are faster, which is good. I don't know, is that Dazzle effect like causing some major stuff? I mean, granted, we're still really tanky right here. Dazzle is really screwing us over, and we're probably going to die the Russell because of it. Oh, Russell and the Dazzle. This is literally the same thing that we just came across. Oh my god, we actually pulled out the victory. Okay, so now we know the Ro Dazzle from Russell is going to be absolutely disgusting. We absolutely need a round one active against a penny as well. Oh, I didn't think Dazzle was going to be such a big issue for us, though. I bet, I wonder if a basic attack would have worked on that wave. If I use a basic here, it's really risking it, but I feel like with this account, we're going to have to learn what we can and cannot do. Basic attack is pretty strong. It might be strong enough to beat the penny, 
The downside of trying it against the penny is if we fail, we instantly kill ourselves. Like, there's just no doubt. The nice thing with Eos is if we do use an active and we do kill the, uh, the enemies out, you get a burst of energy, which is cool. You get 50 energy basically when you kill an enemy. So if it's a dual wave or a quad wave, you're in a good spot. Again, hopefully our basic is strong enough here. And it does seem like it is, which is amazing. Because not only did we get the 50 energy to get to 100, we just got 50 energy from each enemy. Meaning we have an extra 100 energy stored up, which turns into more skill damage in this Aspen dungeon, which is amazing. Uh, really didn't want her to die there. Again, we want to always kill with using a basic attack. Because that's basically going to ensure that we have... Oh, God basically ensure that we have an active I really don't want to use a demon potion this early but you guys know this is a very sketchy wave um granted i will say if they go first because of the rogan um we should have energy for an active because we're at about 60 energy so we're guaranteed an active if we go second we go first and that kind of solves one of the big problems of having the drake still alive so yeah that that works perfect we don't need an active going in we do need an active against this wave because there's good old penny there penny is annoying very annoying for this hero good hit i like it good damage um we have an active which is very important here <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh the sun actually killed everything thank goodness and we just got a ton of energy off of it as well that's the best part about eos is the fact that she can generate energy herself and again you see right there she didn't use the basic she just killed her at the end of the round she gets the energy absolutely amazing i'm making the executive decision we are buying stellar shards yes we are uh and we have a new record which is pretty awesome we'll have to see if we can get to purgatory 100 get a new checkpoint um demon potion it is because there's a penny which again feels really bad that we have to do this but penny is the one hero that can literally just oh god actually wait a minute do we have oh no oh no we don't even have the dodge offset star spawn please say we go first oh no Stop attacking. Just don't attack her. Just let the end of the round damage happen. Oh my god. Just don't attack the sword flash for the counterattacks. Whew. That's a little sketchy, I would have to say. That is really, really scary. I don't like that at all. Not at all. I'm buying, I'm buying Stellar Shards. Stellar Shards are so, so important here. Uh, at least our basic does heal as well, which is nice. Our energy is now bugged out. Right? I think. Maybe. Let's leave and re-enter one more time. See if it might fix it if it was bugged out in combat. It was looking kind of weird there. Again, a lot of these waves are going to be very... Uh... Granted, there's only a single target. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, oh my god, another penny. Three demon... Eventually, we're going to have to go against this wave without energy and see how our basic attack works against it. I'm just not taking that risk right now because I want to see how far we can take this because there's a lot of these waves that are just easy wins for an EOS like this. Just absolutely crazy, crazy easy. Uh, there is an enemy EOS better than a Russell, though. Much better than having a Russell on the enemy side, that's for sure. No energy coming out of it. We got an Azbu that we're going up against. Oh no, his fear effect. I forgot he has a fear effect. But luckily, eventually we get energy in that scenario, which is good. Um, we should be able to basic Inosuke down. Yep, cool. We got our end of round damage, which worked perfectly. Uh, Saya, ah. Uh, such a waste on getting... Like, honestly, single target waves are horrible for this hero because you almost always want her to go against a duo because that means no matter whether she's an active or basic or anything she's going to get 100 energy just from killing the two heroes gonna be a waste of our energy oh wait no there's two alive cool we got our energy back oh this is sketchy uh so again amon Ra can be a little dangerous probably if she can get her shields up before us but if she can't it's not really anything to even worry about yeah, end of round sun damage. Uh, we got a lot of extra energy stored up here, which is really good. 
and we are marching along heck yeah let's keep going uh solo annabelle again really sucks getting these solo waves i absolutely hate it but it is what it is uh 2c lago waves very easy for us to defeat we'll get energy there we go i really miss doing aspen dungeon like this this is what this was like in 2020 2021 i think aspen dungeon death 100 pushes were one of the most entertaining things in gaming for me like the the strategy that went into it and the knowledge that you could have to make have it pay off was so big there is a uh rustle here so again there's no point doing like a round one active because it's not really going to do much for us anyway um rustle oh my god oh my god we got to try to kill the rustle with our next hit hopefully oh no we got to kill Russell with like our next basic. Oh God, the sun, the sun damage is so good for this. Luckily we do also have energy going up against a penny wave, which is perfect timing. Gotta love it. Not buying five star heroes. Get out of here. Uh, this is a new wave. Vesa probably attacks first giving shields, right? Yeah, but luckily they don't give much shields in these game modes here nice the silence was actually huge to allow us to keep our energy that was absolutely perfect uh cc wave not gonna matter because you don't cc on your basic jara sorry sorry imagine if she did Ooh. okay so luckily we have an active round one so that's gonna get the sun ticking immediately however she's gonna counterattack us every single round um and i don't know if we can survive oh thank goodness the sun and dot damage was enough that was really really sketchy enemy ticks probably could also be pretty sketchy but uh we're just gonna blow past this one which is perfect i like it asmodel and aspen i really don't want to use a demon potion here only having two for 10 more levels i think she can handle this although she might get feared and then we might be screwed oh yes she's so good she is so good in this scenario it's amazing even if they somehow lower our crit chance we're good okay so we've beaten this one before however this is a stronger wave but luckily we take out the drake immediately oh my god it's so close to killing us that is one of the most dangerous waves we can face you guys don't realize how much damage those ithquas actually do it is disgusting and then she even leaves a dot behind as well oh this could be really bad too we're gonna be dazzled i think unless we somehow have control immunity nope we're dazzled so we only hit one target this could be the end of the run hopefully the sun is strong enough oh it's just enough thank goodness the sun killed one of them i mean yeah we're back to carries but these shouldn't be a problem they can't out damage us which is good oh my goodness all right all right we got this Nothing gets your blood pumping, really, like an Aspen Dungeon run. Like, literally, this is one of the most exciting game modes I feel like DH Games has ever come out with. It's just such a good game mode. I love it. It's perfectly designed, too. Like, there's, you just can understand the waves. The waves are like, they're, they are what they are. Oh, my God, we're using energy here. This is sketchy, because I think the Sword Flash goes first, and the Black Hole Mark might just destroy us. Oh, no no everybody attacks no no there's nothing we could have done about that either nothing we could have done because they outsped us oh my goodness well we took rank number three but we're gonna have to do better than that next time we're gonna have to think up some more strategies honestly an extra tenant slot is gonna give us a decent amount of, of speed too which might help us in those scenarios i think um yeah, we get an additional 21 speed just by putting someone in this slot here. I think that'll be the answer. Uh, and maybe by then next week, we'll have some other resources. We'll have to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I love this account. Thumbs this video up. Leave a comment if you are enjoying this because I am. And I want to know if you guys want to see more of it. See you guys next time.